here is a table that shows the different types of plate boundaries. Notice three of them deal with convergent boundaries. A convergent boundary where ocean collides with ocean, or excuse me, ocean collides with continent. We get subduction zones, which makes some very large earthquakes. We get mountain ranges along the coastline, like the Andes and the Cascade Mountain Ranges. We get volcanic mountains on land due to subduction, and we also get earthquakes. Deep ocean trenches at ocean to ocean collisions, like the Marianas Trench. We get island arcs. Uh, like Japan and the Caribbean islands. We get undersea volcanoes and we also get earthquakes. Convergent boundaries where a continent collides with continent, we get very tall mountain ranges like the Himalayas. The New Madrid earthquake, our example of convergence. We also get large earthquakes. Seafloor spreading happens at a divergent plate boundary where new ocean crust is born. We get underwater mountains, undersea mountains like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And we get rift valleys not only on the undersea mountains but also on land like in the African Rift Valley. We also generate earthquakes. At a transform boundary, plates slide past each other like at the San Andreas Fault in California. And we get enormous earthquakes. Worldwide tectonic activity. This map shows the world distribution of tectonic activity. Note the volcanoes and earthquakes that occur on the borders of tectonic plates. Can you identify the Pacific Ring of Fire and the Mid-Atlantic Ridge? Here's the Pacific Ring of Fire. It goes all the way around the edge of the Pacific Plate. And here's the Mid-Atlantic Ridge where plates are splitting apart in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Again, note how the yellow earthquakes and the red volcanoes happen where two plates meet. Local tectonic activity, the New Madrid Fault. The New Madrid Fault is a 150 mile wide fault system that extends into states in the Midwest and South, including Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, Arkansas, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Mississippi. The earthquakes produced along this fault are called intraplate earthquakes, which occur within, not between, tectonic plates. Many smaller magnitude earthquakes have been recorded here, more than 4,000 since 1974. However, in December 1811, there was a large, approximately 7.2 to 8 magnitude quake with its epicenter origin origin in northeast Arkansas. No one was killed and only minor damage to building was re buildings was re resulted. Deforming Earth's crust. Deformation is the process in which the shape of rock changes because of stress force. Two main types of stresses are compression, when forces act to squeeze, like this top picture, uh, and Together, convergent plate boundaries have lots of compression. Compression at a convergent boundary causes large mountain ranges to form. Tension is when forces act to stretch an object, like at divergent plate boundaries. Tension at a divergent plate boundary causes mid-ocean ridges to form. And faulting, the surface along which rocks layers break and slide past each other is a fault. The blocks of rock on each side of the fault are called fault blocks. There are two sides of a fault block. There is the foot wall, which is the side that's slanted this way, and the hanging wall, which has the side slanted this way. Mountain building. Folded mountains, the highest mountain ranges in the world, are folded mountain ranges. They form when rock layers are squeezed together and pushed upward. Examples are the Alps in Europe, the Himalayas in Asia, and the Appalachian Mountains in North America. You will see lots of folding. See how you can see that those rock layers have been folded right there due to compression. Fault block mountains result from a large number of normal faults um, that occur due to tension on Earth's crust. If they are made of sedimentary rock, fault block mountains can have sharp, jagged peaks. Example are the Tetons in Wyoming. Volcanic mountains, usually located at convergent boundaries where oceanic crust sinks at subduction zones. As the rock sinks, it melts and becomes magma, which rises to the Earth's surface again and erupts to form volcanic mountains. Many occur around the rim of the Pacific Ocean, nicknamed the Ring of Fire. Folding is the bending of rock layers due to stress in Earth's crust. Two types of folds are an anticline, which is an upward fold, 
and synclines, which are downward folds. And those are created because of compression, squeezing the rocks together.